about a bit of politics now. And the man you just saw there, that's Ugunja member of parliament, Opio Wandai. And now he wants graft suspects locked out from the polls. The legislators proposed amendments to the Leadership and Integrity Act and the elections laws to bar anyone with a pending case from accessing political or even state office. Wandai claimed that the amendments seek to ring fence chapter 6 of the Constitution on leadership and integrity that has been abused and circumvented. To buttress the Leadership and Integrity Act, the Ugunja MP has proposed an introduction of a new clause that once a state officer is charged with corruption-related charges, they are suspended from acting in office. The new clause reads, quote, A state officer who is formally charged in a court of law for an offense related to corruption shall cease to perform the functions of the office pending finalization of the court, end of quote. Equally, Wandai has proposed amendments to the Elections Act touching on the nominations of the President, members of Parliament and County Assemblies. The blanket amendment across the three chapters six to disqualify a candidate for President, MP and MCA if, quote, they have formally been charged in a court of law for an offence related to corruption or economic crimes and the case has not been finalised, end of quote. A move seeking to bar anyone with pending cases in court from vying for any political seat. The Ugunja legislature claimed Chapter 6 of the Constitution on Leadership and Integrity was being abused and circumvented by leaders with integrity questions to get elected into public offices which they use as shields from their questionable actions. When it was enacted, it was kind of watered down. It was watered down to in a way give people leeway to circumvent the Constitution. It was watered down to give people leeway to bypass the stringent requirements under Chapter 6. A number of governors, MPs and MCAs are facing corruption cases. Several have been charged in court but remain in office. The leaders finding solace in Article 99 of the Constitution that states a person is not disqualified unless all possibility of appeal or review of the relevant sentence or decision has been exhausted. End of court. If it happens so, that the parliament term comes to an end when the court case is still going on and eventually you are acquitted. You have got recourse in law. Just go back to court and bring action for damages. You will be compensated. And for the leaders who get charged while in office, the Ugunja MP wants them suspended from office. At the constituency level, Wandaye claimed it is a lesser evil to go unrepresented until the MP's case is concluded. The constituents could have suffered slightly, but that is, of course, a, a, a small price to pay for good, good, for good governance and, and national good. The MP claimed graft lords have been emboldened in the country, cognizant of the legislation gaps within the laws. And with that in mind, leaders with questionable integrity have been cleared and elected into public offices. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.